Hello everyone, welcome to this step by step guide on how to launch Azure Data Factory in Azure Portal. Today I will be walking you through the process. Let's get started. First, open your web browser and navigate to the portal.azure.com. This will take you to the Azure Portal homepage. If you are not already signed in, enter your Azure credentials and sign in. Once you are logged in, you will be directed to the Azure Portal dashboard. In the search bar at the top, type data factories and select it from the drop down list. You will now be on a data factory overview page. Click on the create button to start creating a new data factory. In the basics tab, you will need to configure the basic settings. First, select your subscription, then choose an existing resource group or create a new one by click over here. Next, enter a unique name for your data factory. Select the region closest to your data or where your organization located operates. Leave the version as it is and then click next. Over here we have the option to configure git integration for the version control. Click on the git configuration tab for let, later use case. Now click on the next tab. Here you can specify whether your data factory will be accessible over the public internet or through a private endpoint in a virtual network. Choose the appropriate option based on your security requirements. Then click on next. After configuring the basic settings, click review plus create. Review your configuration to ensure everything is correct. Once you have reviewed everything, click create azure will begin deploy your data factory this might take a few minutes after the deployment is complete you can access your data factory by clicking go to resource congratulations you have successfully created a azure data factory now let's take a quick look at the azure data factory interface Here you can create a pipelines, manage databases and much more. We will explore these features in future videos. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Azure related videos. See you in the next video.